So who qualifies as your dependent? Dependents qualifying child for child tax credit and credit for other dependents. So when you're asking whether or not they qualify for the dependent, oftentimes then there's a couple things related to that. Do they qualify for a dependent which might change a filing status with regards to pushing someone up from single to head of household? Do they qualify for the dependent and then give you a tax benefit of either the child tax credit, the bigger benefit, or the other dependents credit? That would be the next kind of scenario or set of questions. Follow the steps below to find out if a person qualifies as your dependent and to find out if your dependent qualifies you to take the child tax credit or the credit for other dependents. If you have more than four dependents, check the box under dependents on page four of form 1040 or 1040 SR and include a statement showing the information required in column one through four. So there's only limited information on the first page of the form 1040 with regards to the number of dependents. So if you've got a whole bunch of them, then you might have to add tack on another sheet there. Tip, uh, the dependents you claim are those you list by name and social security number SSN and the dependents section on form 1040-1040-SR. So clearly, if you're claiming them as a dependent, if you're putting something on the tax return for a child tax credit or other dependent credit, then it should be reflected on page one and the IRS is going to want to know the name and the number. Note, that if there's any kind of custody issues and that's where things get kind of in the gray area for a dependent for example you can't have two people claiming the dependent because that would be kind of like double dipping on the benefits of basically the dependent and the IRS will be able to pick that up typically just without even like an intensive audit usually just with their computer system because the IRS will have the name and the social security number of the dependent so if two people claim them then, then that's going to cause problems on the IRS side of things. And, and sometimes you won't even be able to file uh, the return if you're trying to electronically file and someone else had already claimed them as a dependent using the name and social security number, for example. So those are going to be important components. Before you begin, see the definition of social security number later. So obviously we can get into who has a social security number versus the TIN number and the, the, uh, uh, the def and, and, entering that into the system if you want to claim the child tax credit uh, or the credit for other dependents you and your spouse of filing jointly must have an ssn social security number or itin itin issued on or before the due date of your 2022 return including extensions if an itin is applied for on or before the due date of a 2022 return including extensions and the irs issues an itin as result of the application, the IRS will consider the I-10 as issued on or before the due date of the return. So next time we'll get into basically the questionnaire and a more formal kind of question and answer process to determine if someone qualifies as a dependent. And if so, then can you get the child tax credit, the better of the two credits? And if not, can you still get the dependent uh, credit for the dependent?